Good morning, everybody. In this video, we'll be talking about solving basic linear inequalities. I've written one up here, and our goal is to get x by itself on one side of the inequality. This is a less than, <coughs> and then graph uh, what we have. So we're going to start out by taking away 9 from both sides. This just works like any sort of equation that you would have that you need to solve. 17 minus 9 is 8. And then uh, we're going to divide by uh, 2 here to get the x by itself. And notice that I leave the sign the same. If I multiply or divide by negative, you flip the sign the opposite way. But here we don't have to worry about that. X is less than four. Uh, so here's my number line. Here's four. Because it's a less than, we use an open dot and the graph looks like this, less than four. Uh, if I have, 5 minus 2x bigger than 27. Um, take away 5 from both sides. Cancel that out. Minus 2x is bigger than or equal to 22. That means or equal to. This time we're going to divide by negative 2. And you get x. 22 over negative 2 is negative 11. Because I divided by a negative, watch this, I flip my sign around and now I have X is less than or equal to negative 11. Put that on the number line, use a solid dot because it's a less than uh, or equal to, the or equal part means we have a solid dot. We start with the number negative 11 and, and, and go down uh, just like that. Uh, sometimes you'll have to use the distributive property. So something like, 5 minus 5x bigger than 4 times 3 minus x. Um, and so here, I'm going to utilize the distributive property. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. And this time, we have x's and numbers on each side. So you get to decide where you want the x. I don't care. Uh, maybe I'll just move the x's to the left. Uh, add 4x to both sides, so we can cancel out that, and then take away 5 from both sides here, cancel out that. So negative 5x plus 4x is negative 1x, and that's going to be bigger than 7. Uh, we have a negative x, so I need to either divide or multiply by negative 1. I'll just divide, just like this, and you get x and you get negative seven. And because you divided by negative one, you do have to flip the sign and we'll graph it uh, just like this. Here's negative seven, open dot, traveling, traveling that way. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you might have an inequality that has three uh, different segments in it. So maybe something like negative eight, uh, X, negative 11, negative six. Um, this is a, a case where you have an and situation because x minus 11 is bigger than negative eight and it's also less than negative six. The goal here is to still get x by itself, in this case in the middle. So you add 11 to all three parts, just like that. And then you get three, you get x, and you get minus six plus 11 is five. And we're going to graph this now by putting a number line out there, put a three and a five. X is bigger than three, so it's gonna be an open circle going this way. X is also and less than five, so you're gonna open circle at five and these kind of meet up in the middle, uh, just, like, uh, just like that. Um, <clears throat> the other situation you can have, this is called a compound inequality. Another situation is you could have an or case where you have X is bigger than four, or equal to four, or x is um, less than two. And so the way you would graph this is you draw your number line. You have four, and you have two. You have a solid, because x is bigger than or equal to four, we're gonna have a solid dot. We're gonna go right. And then if x is less than two, we're gonna have an open dot, less than is left. So that's the just the very basics of uh, solving and graphing linear inequalities.